Hello everyone. Have you ever had a favorite piece of clothing tear and you're just too attached to it to throw it out? Well today I'm going to show you how to repair a torn pair of jeans in a beautiful way using only a few simple materials. Visible mending uses a sashiko stitch to repair a hole in a piece of clothing. However, it's becoming increasingly popular to use it on jeans with tears across the knees. This is a wonderful way to refresh an old pair of jeans and turn ugly holes into something beautiful and intentional. Apart from your torn jeans, you'll need a scrap piece of denim or other heavy weight fabric. You won't need a lot, just a rectangle a few inches larger than the hole you'll be mending. This is an 8 weight pearl cotton called Eleganza, which I prefer because it pulls very easily through fabric. I'll be using this variegated white and light blue color, but if you want your stitching to really stand out, choose a contrasting color. Another thing you'll need is a sashiko needle. Sashiko needles have a eye large enough for the heavier thread and are also much longer than regular hand embroidery needles, making it easy for you to take more stitches. If you don't have a sashiko needle, a hand embroidery needle with a large eye can work as a substitute. To make your life easier, I suggest using a thimble. Due to the number of stitches you need to take, this will allow you to stitch more effectively and keep your finger from bruising. To begin, turn your jeans inside out and find the hole you want to repair. Trim all the bits of thread around the hole. Cut the scrap piece of denim into a rectangle a few inches larger than the hole and pin it in place, making sure you position your pins along the edges of the scrap. Now turn the jeans right side out. You can see where the pins are outlining the very edge of the scrap, so you'll know not to stitch outside of the pins. Thread your needle and tie a knot at the end of the thread. You can hide the knot by starting between the two layers of fabric. Load your needle with several stitches and pull straight through the fabric. You want to keep working your way back and forth across the hole until you've stitched the entire thing down. If you're just starting out, you can do a simple straight line back and forth across. However, you can also do curved lines or any sort of pattern you can imagine. Try to keep your stitches even, but if it's not perfect, it's okay because you'll still achieve a hand-done look. When you're finished, don't forget to tie off your thread on the back side of the fabric. And that's actually all there is to it. This is an incredibly simple technique that can save your favorite pair of jeans for several more years. Experiment with different patterns and scrap fabrics for a totally unique pair of pants. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to hit the like button below if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more great tips and tutorials. We'll see you all next time.